Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to another episode of The Young Farmer. I hope you're doing very well. My name is Andy, as always, and you'll start by looking at that sunset with me. It is beautiful. Uh, we've got a few things to kind of wrap up this evening, uh, first of which we're going to take out the action once again. Class Arian is still on the uh, sprayer over there. We're going to go and drop off a trailer. We're going to pick a trailer up. And then we're going to all being well. Uh, we're going to go and have a bit of a look at something, to be honest, um, which should be quite interesting there. But yeah, we've got to go and drop this off down at the uh, the BGA there for the straw facility. They're going to fill this up overnight and then um, leave it with us for tomorrow. Let's get a little bit tight there, Andy. Put that back. Wonderful stuff. And then after that, we will be like I say, we're going to go and I've had a request from a local builder just to go and empty a dump trailer of his uh, full of topsoil and he has a place in the local woods that we're going to go and do that and then like I say we're going off for a little bit of an interesting shopping spree really uh, so we'll watch this space there uh, but yeah it's been a busy day we've been out with the Aryan doing a little bit of spraying again today uh, which has been good just to get that kind of ticked off and, and done uh, elsewhere we are Wait to just need a little bit more fertilizer work. Uh, drilling wise, we're pretty much all done for now. Uh, but yeah, we're just waiting for this grass to really kick on uh, so we can get some silage cut down, hopefully. Uh, I have one job that I know of at the moment. Uh, but that is about it so far, so we will see if anything else comes through. Uh, perfect. Ooh, let's just slow it down here as well. That little chicane there uh, always catches you in a way. We're going to stick some light on because it is a little bit dusky right now. Uh, but we will see how we get on there. Um, yeah, so like I say, a few different bits and pieces to wrap up the day. The day's just escaped me, to be honest. Been uh, had a little, stuck on a lot of phone calls, uh, stuck doing a few little bits and pieces. Did, down, did, did about 40 acres of spraying this morning, but the rest of it is still to be done. Uh, but as you can see, all the spring crops are really coming along now anyway, so that's good news. And the weather is staying very kind to us. Uh, that's about all we can say right now. Hopefully that continues, but it is looking pretty good right now uh which is all that we can ask really oh that goes up us up there uh but we are going to we can go right here then left we'll take the back road because it's a bit of a shortcut and then uh, yeah we should be good i'm hoping as well that i can get them the sprayers off the uh off the aryan suit because i want to stick the mower onto there and get everything ready to go and uh see how we get on um, and also it'd be nice to have that to do a lot of the carting around that I'm doing at the moment because yeah, this big tractor can be used for other things. But anyway, how's it all going? Hope everything is well, whatever you're getting up to. Do let us know, as always, what's going on, where you're working, what you're driving, of course. Uh, if you're in a class like myself, do let us know which one you're in. And here, wonderful, past that car wreck, which as far as I'm aware is just never going to move. Uh, we did get all of that shed cleared over there that we were in just uh, in the last episode, I think. Uh, new telehandler worked a charm right there. Uh, let me know what you think of the new rig as well. It's parked up in the yard there right now. It's a beautiful telehandler. I really do like that a lot. Very, very impressive bit of equipment. A little bit of a step away from the normal. I haven't had a case before, but it's, uh, yeah, it came in with a great deal. So uh, very happy with that. And uh, like I say, it must have saved me about 40,000, 40, I think, on... Uh, cost of a new scorpion there so definitely not to be sniffed at that's for sure okay we're looking good there we go like i say they just asked i dropped this trailer in the middle of the yard which is easily done uh says me i'm gonna load it myself and get someone to come and do that for us uh, we do have someone asked me if i could do some drilling the potatoes uh, in there, actually, I think it is. Obviously, I don't have any setup to do that, so I had to decline that. But it's, uh, it's curious. I wonder if that's going to be like a, um, a potential there that I might have to look into moving forward. But I don't know. Could well be. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's anyone going to be around or not, but. They were told that I was coming, so we'll just uh, stick this in there. Slightly out of the way, I guess. Let me stick this one. I think. Uh, 
I'm still getting a bit of access to get it loaded, uh, but we can, uh, we can just come pick it up whenever it's full tomorrow. Though in this beautiful sunset, it's looking fantastic out there. It really is a beautiful looking tractor. I love the color scheme on the class. So it does look good. Alright, so that's been dropped off nice and quickly, nice and easily, and off we go uh, around the corner. Now I am going to go right here. Again, the building side is going to be left open, so it should be nice and easy to pick this up. I don't know, I think it's just topsoil from what I could understand. Oh, just a nice little job to get ticked off the list really this time of day um, leave us for tomorrow to hit any of the bigger things really this is always a good couple, this time of day is always a good couple of hours for myself really just to get everything tidied up uh, which will get done here uh, coming just around the corner past the gardens under told me and um, it's just after that on the left in fact I think I can see the trailer there now which is perfect very much okay so in we go here nothing behind me so I can just kind of pull over and there is our trailer there perfect get back here a bit Ooh, it's a big old trailer I'm surprised I wanted to get rid of topsoil and not rubble but there you go it looks like they're starting their clear up efforts that I would say Yeah, nice looking size uh, trailer actually, very nice and clean. I don't know where they got that one from, but yeah, it's, it could be a fairly big house once it's all said and done, I would say. Uh, definitely is looking rather impressive there with a great old, I guess that excavator still works. I mean, how else have they done to build that up? Uh, but yeah, the whole lot of junk here as well. Get ourselves in and we'll get this taken and see where we're going to take this away to, I guess. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to tip this, bring it back. Um, oh, let me just stop here, I don't think something's quite right with my uh, air brakes on the trailer. Yeah, that's looking better. We're going to tip this then, we're going to bring it back, and then we're going to go and head on to the next stage of the day. Um, now I believe we're just tipping this in the middle of the forest as it is this topsoil, there's a bit of leveling out we want to do, so we need to figure out how we're going to get into there. But I think I have an idea. It have to involve us hitting up the, the, uh, the dual carriage race for just a little while, but we can make that work. The roads are really quiet this time, though. obviously everyone is in isolation a little bit, so it's still um, it's a great time to be out on the roads of armor at least, you can certainly get a lot done. Uh, I don't have to worry quite so much about some of the traffic, which is fantastic. Uh, this way. That, that water main job seems to have been going on for quite some time as well. Uh, and I believe we're actually just going straight over there, but we need to go... I go the long way around. There's nothing coming there, it's just work all the way across. Awesome. And then yeah, let's figure out what's going on in here. We might even get time later on to go and stop for a quick pint if they'll let us. Open for a little bit of an entrance into here. Oh, I think we're coming up here. This looks good. Excellent. Okay, so apparently it's just down here. We need to tip it anywhere to the left of the house, is what I've been told. So, uh, 
Um, there is our house. That makes a bit more sense. Uh, left of it as I'm looking at it, I guess. We can tip it in there. That'll work for me. And it's an interesting little place down here. Mm. Don't get much direct sunlight down here. Let's go. Inside of that tree there. And Excellent, let's get this tipped out here and then we can get ourselves onwards and away. So we're going to get this all tipped out here and then we, uh, let's just have a look and see what we're looking like, but we'll get it tipped and then we can get ourselves back up to the yard, uh, to the building site, drop this off and we'll get uh, on to the next stage. So what we'll do is we'll probably just catch you back up when we're on the way to the, the final uh, destination for today, because uh, we're doing a lot of driving at the moment, but we'll catch up with you in just a little while. Okay then, job done. We're heading the other way and we're just going to turn off our hazard lights. Is there a full speed camera here? Yes, there is. The officer, he's been out there for all day pretty much. And we're off to the, well, we're going to do a bit of shopping. If, if I'm being honest with you, and it's possibly, oh, uh, possibly one of my favorite types of shopping we could ever do. Uh, if that gives you any clues, I'm not going to say anything else, but it's definitely something we need to get ourselves up and working with uh, sooner rather than later, or at least have an eye, a strong idea and agreement in place as to where we're going to go. So, uh, a bit late in the day, the dealer I've spoken to has said that there's a couple of bits of equipment in the yard that will interest me as part of trade-ins that they've been doing recently, uh, and then one new as well actually, so we're going to have a look at those. Um, and something might kind of just fit our need and catch my eye and if it does well perfect that's the one we'll be taking so uh, let's see how that one works out uh, what we will do is just cruise on down the road here and then hopefully i mean they're not open we can't go and discuss anything today but we're gonna have a little bit of a look at them anyway uh see what we think and get a better idea of what we could do so watch this space for that uh, but yeah it should lead us to uh a few good opportunities actually. And what I might do is because we've just got a few more minutes of driving to do anyway, I'll uh, come back to you once we're. Oh, no, there we go. Actually, no, we haven't got too far left to go. We'll just go through the town here. Make sure nothing's coming through your residential street. Nothing to see here, folks. And the building work around here has taken an eternity. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to come into the yard. And some of you might already be able to see what is in the, like, the yard lined up there. Uh, I think as you get a bit closer, you know that will. And we're going to be... We're starting to do a little bit of investigation and pricing up into what I'm, which, which combine we're going to uh, acquire. At least for this harvest maybe ideally a few more as well uh, but, uh, there are a few different options here this is primarily a class dealership but they do have a few different machines here that are uh, let me just park this here for now i think they do have a few different uh brands of combines here that have been used as trade-ins when they've been someone's been upgrading to a different class but yeah, there are three different, four different machines here. There's a Lexan at the end there, I think, as well. We've got a Class Tucano 580. We've got a John Deere T560i. And then we've got a New Holland C890. Now, these guys are all pretty much the same size, except of the, with the exception of the 770. That's brand new. We're not going to be looking at that one. Um, just too big for what we need. But these ones here are all pretty much the same size. Uh, same header size as well, which I think I saw there over there. Except for the new Holland one, which must be having some work done. Uh, they're all in the region about seven, seven and a half meter wide headers. Um, now this is bigger than what we had up north when we had a Fent, you may recall, um, which was a nice size combine. We just couldn't really bring it down here, um, so we terminated at least where it was. But yeah, they're all pretty darn big, pretty nice actually as well, I must say. Um, I'm not sure 
I have no preference, really. Uh, the class support down here would say maybe the Tucano would be a good starting point, but uh, that is also the newest and therefore has the fewest hours on and therefore costs the most. So uh, I am toying with the idea of, I just don't know if one of these might, be, any of these might be a little too big maybe. Um, Dealer did say there is another John Deere that's coming. It's not quite here yet, but we might have a look into that one as well. Uh, but yeah, I do like them all. Uh, I don't know if any of these are open or not. I would imagine they are not. But yeah, let me know as well down in the comments which one you think you would prefer. Uh, which one, if you've got any experience on them, which one is the best as well. Um, I am at the moment here, yeah, I think this is likely going to be on a, a minimum of a two year lease. Uh, so we'll see which one is going to be best for that price wise as well. But I at the moment there, yeah, I don't have any real opinion on uh, which one I prefer. Um, the I have heard good things about the Chicano. This is effectively like the size of the uh, first Lexions really, the, uh, the 500 series Lexion I think. So there's still an, a nice looking... Uh, Nice looking machine nonetheless. Uh, this 560i does appeal to me actually. It's very good. And But then this I believe was one of these was supposed to be coming with Trex on as well. Um, nice looking 890. This is a rotary of course uh, as I think the Class Ducano is as well. So uh, straw is something that's not going to be quite as important there. So the rotary would work for ourselves. Yeah, it is interesting. All on, ta all on uh, tires as well. The New Holland would have you know, the slightly wider tires on them. But uh, yeah, well, that will be um, something we can maybe get changed out. But I don't know. It's certainly something we're going to have a look into. Tomorrow we are going to be um, discussing a few things with the dealer. So let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer, which one you think is the best. And we will see what happens. Of course, here are two of the headers on their respective trailers. The 770 Vario. Uh, this is a 625, so this is a bit short, this is about 6.5 metres there, but still a nice looking header. Absolutely. And uh, the uh, New Holland one's on the deck over here, I don't know what they're working on with that one. Must have been having a look over it somewhere. But yeah, that's what we, I thought we'd just have a quick drive by this evening, have a look into these, see what's going on. They do look rather, um, rather nice, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, and watch the space to see where they go. For now, though, we're going to leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I have been Andy, your young farmer. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't, you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, the simulation for the nation, and we will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, enjoy what you're doing as always, but most importantly, happy farming.